to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we have I Love XTO starting as the orange Terran. Bottom left hand corner, we have Bon Bon starting as the pink Protoss. This is on Vermeer, and it's BSL Season 15 Hustle League, Game 1 of the semifinal. Exciting ones this far. Uh, blah, blah. Can't talk all of a sudden. Exciting ones thus far. By the way, I also did not have the banner properly updated, so it's one thing I need to remember to do. Regularly, I think previously I had Group C for the entirety of the round of eight for all of the players playing there. But I think I announced the correct games as I was talking up front, and also when they end up on YouTube, they'll end up labeled properly. Between these two guys, though, my bias is towards I Love XDO. He does commentary. can't remember. I think it might be in Spanish for BSL. Whenever there's a commentator out there, it's kind of like the group commentator pride thing. Maybe it's one of those, like, vicarious things. You see Artosis out there managing to get games in. Same th thing with Nyoka, and it's like, I could maybe do that if I had retrospectively played years of StarCraft and made that happen, right? Anyway. I love XTL, very creative. I actually feel like he's one of the more entertaining players to watch versus Protoss. We'll see if Bonbon bon can handle it. Bonbon, bon, if he's going to take I love XTL on, he needs to be extremely diligent about his scouting. Because multiple times we've seen when I love XTO falls behind in the mid game economically, or sometimes when he just wants to pull something off in the mid game, what he will do is, is he'll sneak ninja expansions and win the game from there. Also, apologies if I end up with some background noise on this one. My daughter is currently, I'm going to do, as far as the Twitch live thing, I'm probably going to do fewer games because my daughter is sick and at home today. But I still wanted to at least get a game or two in. Front door seal for I love XTO. Sending out initial SCV scout. Looks, we'll see if he goes bottom corner first. Looks like just an assimilator and a gateway. Skipping the Zalt to get that cybernetic score down a little bit more rapidly. And that is going to result in a lack of information for XTO because he is scouting to the upper right hand corner first. No refinery as of yet for XTO. So it looks like he actually might go for a 14 command center with his initial build. So going for some economic read, and this is the sort of stuff we see from XTO. Diligent player in the macro, so that is going to give him a sizable lead. Bon Bon making his way to the bottom right-hand corner, actually sneaking a pylon here to the 6 o'clock location, which is he going to skip the Dragoon initially? So he is building the Dragoon. I'm not sure if this is for proxy tech or this was just to have fewer pylons in the base, so it's basically like, hey, my second pylon's missing. You need to keep your... Eyes up. So this is interesting from XTO. So he's got a Marine blockading the ramp. But rather than going for the quick command center on the low ground after skipping gas. He's building the command center up on the high ground. So he's still going to need to float it down. That is. So it's going to deny information to Bon Bon. But that's still going to be a fast command center. The question is, is can he hold it in that position? SCV making its way across. Now, let's see if the Dragoon... So, the Dragoon is going to be holding the ramp. Which means that Pylon at the opposite position isn't really going... Or kind of at this hidden position really isn't going to be a huge factor. Because the SCV is not going to be in a position to, to basically say, Oh, hey, yeah, there's a Pylon missing. But I kind of like that play. At least having that option there. Probe making its way around. It's going to get denied by those two Marines in the front factory on the way. So yeah, you can see that SCV checking out the natural. I think seeing that probe come down should give an idea to I Love XDO that it is going to be Quick Nexus. Fortunately for Bon Bon, as a response, so blindly, without his own scouting information going, maybe because he didn't see the Marines going on the low ground or any movements that direction, he is in fact going one gate into Nexus, and that'll be a pretty quick economic response. To XTO's fast command center. The Dragoon really hunting that SCV down. He's tacking on a second gateway. Range is just about finishing. Potentially, if he pops out a couple Dragoons, could move him towards the front. But Bon Bon, bon looks like he is more interested in denying information right this second. Because he's still keeping this Dragoon up on the high ground, and he's got another Dragoon. Yeah, he's still blockading that ramp. So I'm almost wondering if he's going to go... No, so he's going robotics all day. I'm like, okay, is he thinking about opening up Dark Templar and just wants to make sure that that SCV can't get any confirmation? Another SCV sneaking out to go ahead and get information. First factory up. 
with the machine shop second factory in position. Looks like it is going to be a siege tank first. The SCV wandering down. Let's see if XTO can get... Yeah, does in fact confirm the Nexus. Suicide SCV just... I always visualize that as like this SCV diving in with walkie-talkie. He's like, hey, this was it, and then it just explodes. It's like his job, his lot in life. Makes you wonder why they wouldn't like send in a remote SCV. No, they need a guy in there. They're that sadistic in the Star Star <laughs> in the StarCraft universe. Double machine shop to produce a lot of tanks here in the mid game. Looks like Siege Tech is upgrading. Having a glut of Siege Tanks can help defend against those Reavers. And also create kind of more a nice defensive stance, which kind of creates options because you're on a lower factory count, which means you can go ahead and potentially push up to get a quick second command center. Or sorry, third command center. Or additional options are you can, you know, just play a little, get your second refinery down and go for maybe that 2-1 timing push, something along those lines. Some missile turrets being placed, one on the front door to respect Dark Templar. Skipping that academy, it looks like we have three gate observatory as a follow up. But both players just sitting back and just playing flat macro. XTO currently with a worker count lead slightly behind. Otherwise, Bonbon bon moving to go ahead and take position along that six o'clock corridor. And XTO also moving out to go ahead and potentially establish a foothold at this 12 o'clock base or is he just going for some sort of sneaky push here this looks like actually a, i take it back going for a sneaky push so he's got three siege tanks three marines and two scvs that are meandering out so maybe he wants to get just a quick strike here at the six o'clock base in anticipation third factory plopping down mines being researched and upgraded he's got scouting but this i don't know if he's going to pay for this or not because bonbon bon has a huge amount of Dragoons there, potentially to press into that natural expansion. There is one Siege Tank up on the high ground. But XTO could get caught with his pants down, basically, not having sufficient defense to protect his natural expansion. This is pretty wide open, natural. Does XTO realize something with the lack of Siege Tanks? So seeing the lack of Siege Tanks pressing in, he's going to wail on that barracks initially. And honestly, I think just walk in, pick off that Siege Tank. He doesn't realize that bunker's empty. But he's got enough Dragoons where he could easily pick that Siege Tank off. So Barrack's gone, but he's not pressing it. In the meantime, I love XTO sweeping in and is going to get an attack here at the 6 o'clock location. A very aggressive naked attack. And that pylon wall is not sufficient, forcing cancellations. And because Bonbon bon backing off the single Siege Tank defense at the natural, XTO getting a lot of damage done. And a huge bonus out of this. Might end up losing these siege tanks and these marines. But worth it to force a nexus cancellation. Vulture's also pressing out. So getting some map control as well. And this just shows you XTO willing to play the risky play to get advantages. It looks like a third command center is being built. A barracks being rebuilt to get that factory count back up. But now XTO just hanging out at the 6 o'clock base. Vulture's going ahead and capping some mines at this location to delay any potential expansion at both to slow Bon Bon's economy down. The Marines look like they should be able to take care of the Zealots. That Zealot does get on top of that siege tank, clearing it out. The Dragoon's sweeping back to deal with the Vultures that were moving towards the natural expansion. The Vultures rejoining here at the 6 o'clock, planting mines in the way to once again slow these Dragoons down. They have to walk through that funnel, and the siege tanks just do massive amounts of damage, get a lot of shots as they're coming through. So Bon Bon... Losing a lot of Dragoons to clean up the 6 o'clock base. And that is actually keeping the supply count just about even. He still hasn't taken his third. And the third base, while not in place, is finishing for XTO. First Armory is up. Small Mercies here, at least the upgrade count is going to be a little bit slower. But now we're seeing a bunch of additional factories tacked down. And XTO, as soon as he cycles out, some SEVs will economically be able to sustain this. However, going up... Against six gateways, he needs to fill in troops rapidly to defend. Right now, looks like the sixth gateway is being plopped down. Bonbon bon playing a little bit more passively. It feels like XTO really punishes... Oof. Really punishes Protoss players that aren't looking to pull the trigger. 
So XTO with the worker lead, he's got a third base up, which gives him a generalized lead. And this is going to be significant as Bon Bon's third Nexus not even running. A couple idle probes. Plus one weapons upgrading, so Bon Bon for a brief moment will have a weapons upgrade advantage. But the factories are now pumping for XTO. He's in an extremely strong position moving into the late game. Popping down some exterior turrets to go ahead and evict some observers across, off the front. And Bonbon bon can't like what he sees here, seeing that third base up and running. He's got to make some choices now. He's gone mostly gateway, man. He's got a Citadel of a Dune down for his Zelt leg speed. I don't see any movements towards Stargate. I don't know that economically he could sustain it at this stage. So he's got to run into a sizable mech army, slow down XTO somehow. XTO happy to just sit behind this, grab his third gas, make his way towards the upgrades he's looking for, usually level 2 weapons, level 1 armor, before Terran moves out and maybe hit 200-200 before Bon Bon is really able to keep pace in any way, shape, or form. Dragoon's clearing out those vultures. Maybe he's thinking about taking a quick third in response to this, but part of the problem of that is his XTO, if he wants to, in vultures, in siege tanks, or otherwise, because of his factory count, can press and get aggressive and defend now. And it looks like he was thinking about doing so, was sweeping some troops out to the right. The Dragoons actually matching that troop positioning alongside those Vultures. The Vultures able to get on top of some Zealots here and clear them out. So XTO getting a great trades across the board here. The Vultures now going to get pinned in finally by the Dragoons, but not before really getting a lot of Zealot kills. And it looks like their mine cargo was completely expended as well. Fourth Nexus being grabbed from Bonbon, bon, but this feels like such a late fourth Nexus in comparison to XTO's economic output. And Bonbon's bon still trying to play at Gateway Man, which is not going to play well. Again, it's XTO. XTO actually with a supply lead, which is not how you want to be in the Gateway Man style of play. XTO scanning the main, scanning looks like the natural. Just make, or actually start scanning the third. Just to see what targets he has available to him. And also seeing if there was any sort of tech switch. Tacking on a 7th factory. Also getting that Charon booster upgrade. Just in case there was a movement towards carriers. Not as of yet. Plus 1 weapons online. And XTO just going to slow play this. He's grabbing that 12 o'clock location to go ahead and grab his 4th base. Make sure he keeps that economic lead. He's got a 10 supply lead. Which is scary for Protoss. And... Even on upgrades. So right now, nothing going right for for Bon Bon. And is XTO, this might be an overextension if he tries to grab two expansions at the 12 o'clock and the 9 o'clock simultaneously. I think this might just more be a posture play to catch any shuttles that might be running this direction. If there is any sort of economic harass from Bon Bon in the air. Although it looks like we've seen no movement towards any shuttles thus far from Bon Bon. He's still trying to play it Gateway Man style. But otherwise, it will be an indicator. No, he's going for it. He's grabbing the 9 o'clock. Okay, this might be an overextension if Bon Bon can get aggressive and recognize it. First mistake we've seen XTO make a little bit overly aggressive. Some siege tanks along that 9 o'clock ridge. If Bon Bon gets a move on and can detect it, he can either attack the 12 o'clock or the 9 o'clock to stymie XTO's economy slightly. However, right now, Bon... Yeah, XTO really testing this. He's like, okay, I think you're going to play passively. And not even bother attacking either location. And we'll see if that's the case. There are siege tanks to the north. And there's still a, a defensive attack force. Now, the other option is his XTO might be thinking, okay, if he attacks either the 9... Or sorry, the 12 or the 3 o'clock location, what I'm going to do is just shoot vultures at a gap because I just have an overwhelming amount of factories and take down one of these exterior bases and play it that way. Instead, Bon Bon's reaction is to go ahead and double expand in the bottom right-hand corner. I do not like that play, though. He's hitting 200-200, but XTO not that far behind. Plus one weapons on the way. He does have a science vessel. Also out in the air, and I believe, let's see if I can find the science facility, where it is out in the bases. It's always kind of like, a, there it is. EMP is researching. 
Bon Bon now staging up with some Zealots and Dragoons to go ahead and make a shot at that 12 o'clock base potentially. Comsat catching an Observer, pushing it back, but that Northern Observer. And unfortunately now, Bon Bon attacking the, the point of strength rather than the point of weakness here. That 3 o'clock location, or sorry, that 9 o'clock location, much more exposed. Bon Bon slowly pressing in. Zealots not taking the lead. Looks like they're in the rear of the army here, rather than the front of the army, to go ahead and dive on those siege tanks. The mines are cleared. And there's no Arbiter support. In fact, I don't... Again, it's just pure gateways. Never mind, I take it back. Stargates of the natural expansion, a tech switch to carriers. But it looks like it... With the supply, it's only going to be four carriers out. At least with this, Bon Bon can start utilizing... Some map control where he's attacking at one location and then counterattacking at another. SCVs moving in just to find two carriers assaulting a large amount of siege tanks making their way towards the nine o'clock. Actually, they're just going to dive in. They're just going to counterattack straight, moving straight towards the natural expansion. Force the carriers back by being a huge threat, which a great play here. Level one armor. Now online. Science Vessel pushing forward. A little bit over overextension. It loses its life for it. But the tank's not even bothering to siege. Going to be able to shoot through this army. Bon Bon now going for the counterattack. Ignoring the 12 o'clock. Sweeping across. Maybe going for a base race situation. We'll see how this plays out. It looks like the carriers have cleaned up the turrets there. XTO just crushing everything. I think this might work out for XTO more than it works out for Bon Bon. Because Mech just clears things a lot more rapidly. Yeah, Bon Bon just going to barrel through and try to go for the base race. Some mines being planted. All it takes is a bit of delay. Some vultures being produced to try to defend against this. He's just shoving absolutely everything in. Command center being floated off and drawn back. So the natural gone for Bon Bon. Siege tanks on the high ground. SCVs plugging the gap. XTO recognizing the situation. That is a lot of siege tanks on the high ground. Obliterating Bon Bon's army. XTO still with a sizable bank. Able to reproduce a lot of this. But are there gateways? There are a handful of gateways to the upper right. To play refugee style. Regardless, Bon Bon's army down to 120 supply. Where XTO still sitting near the 200 mark. Vultures sweeping in. The carriers have managed to obliterate the 9 o'clock location. A handful of Dragoons making their way out, but the main attack force of Bon Bon has managed to sweep and, t and stymie the 12 o'clock location, the third base of XTO. He is no longer mining, where Bon Bon theoretically is mining. Single carrier out, not a lot of Goliaths to engage, so that could bring Bon Bon back into this match if he can quickly sweep through the siege tanks and the vultures at the main. Looks like some Goliaths and siege tanks have broken off to go ahead and take out Additional expansions. XTO's bank looking smaller as far as what's left. So carriers on the defense at the main. A wall of dragoons and some cannons to try to defend the natural in the bottom right hand corner. Siege tank's going to take some time getting through that. Some dragoons left at that third to make sure there's not additional mining. It looks like there's a little bit of minerals left at the natural right now though. XTO completely out of available mining resources as far as what he has to hold. The siege tanks have been cleared out of the bottom left. And Bon Bon has expanded twice more to the 9 o'clock location. So XTO, 30 supply lead, but needs to get a move on, needs to take additional bases, maybe distance mine, or rejoin with these tanks and get some Goliaths out in the field and hurry things up right now. Bon Bon's economy... Or I should say, his just economy is not the right word. Infrastructure has been shattered. He is rolling and mining a lot, comparatively. But he just doesn't have the raw gateway count to start producing units. He's expanding everywhere. We have a lone refinery to the north. If this does turn into a pure situation along those lines. Dragoons pulling back, I believe, from the 12 o'clock location. Engaging tanks getting obliterated. Level 2 weapons, level 1, level 2 armor. Single Goliath. To try to deal with these carriers. The carriers with numerous amounts of kills apiece. 14, 15. Sorry, 14, 
five, 18 kills currently and rising as these siege tanks are being taken out. A stream of orange making its way across the map, though. Goliath in that grouping. Looks like two vultures still holding that bottom right-hand corner, but XTO's troop count being thin. A group of zealots able to get on top of those siege tanks in the bottom right. SCV's tr trying to defend. XTO floating that command center back to go ahead and remine at that 3 o'clock location, but the carrier defense wiping out the siege tanks. The Goliath's not there. So Bonbon bon suddenly evening the supply count in the bottom right-hand corner. The Goliaths distracted by the ground troops, so not able to get on top of the carriers. But there are a lot of Goliaths now that they've sweeped out the rest of those Dragoons. The carriers having to escape to that bottom right. A lot of gateways there, but again, not much of an economy to work with. Now, with a lot of these bases having been wiped out and unsaturated. Yeah, there's two additional bases, but they're just really... So this one's still warping in. And that base otherwise is not extremely well saturated. What We've got seven probes there. Which is not massive. XTO shelling up on the low ground. The Goliaths in large numbers engaging the carriers. However, the carrier count looks like it is still growing. We've got five carriers and at least one more on the way. See if XTO goes for another expansion. He's got SEV near the 12 o'clock base to go ahead and re-grab that. Single Vulture working on, looks like, that pylon to deactivate anything of worth. Bonbon's previous base. So Siege Tanks slowly comps that onto the high ground to go ahead and wipe out what they can see. A carrier getting picked off by a lone Goliath. The Goliath now up on the high ground, swarming around that carrier group. The carrier is going to have to exit. However, the carriers are on that back edge towards that Siege Tank line. A slew of turrets plopping down as well for XDO to try to make this work. More units now streaming across as XTO is mining at at least a base. Decent saturation there for Bonbon, bon, so it's going to be a fight to the finish here. Tanks on sieging as Zealots coming on the low ground. Interceptors being assailed by the Goliaths. Only eight Goliaths remain. Dragoons sweeping down towards the low ground. SCV's trying to group prepare everything as this bottom right hand corner is going to be a critical Location, SCV's distance mining at the 12 o'clock just to get a little bit more minerals out. XTO still with the supply lead. Still trying to press in to Bonbon bon in the bottom right-hand corner. And SCV has not seen this expansion in the upper right, but it looks like that 3 o'clock base has been spotted by XTO. So he's going to be able to wipe that out momentarily. Things looking grim now for Bonbon. Bon. A nice shell occupation on the low ground. XTO not bothering to press up. He realizes he's got an economy rolling now. It's going to be up to Bonbon bon to break his way out. And he's clearing everything out on the rest of the map. Looks like there's a huddle of probes. But not much else in uh, bottom left-hand corner. The carrier is starting to press forward. They want to try to draw some troops back, but Bonbon bon calling GG right there. He just does not have enough. And upon losing that 3 o'clock base that was mining, was going to be too far economically behind. An exciting game won between these two. Hope to see more of that in this series, but as it stands, XTO going up 1-0 over Bonbon. Bon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.